Welcome everybody to Rapture Watch for July the 25th, 2018. Watchmen on the Wall, William, from Calgary, Alberta, Canada. And I hope all of you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. And today, um, I just got to share what's on my mind about people attacking Watchmen. And obviously, this is going to continue until we go home. Um... There's a lot of people who are divided on when the rapture takes place. And I am continually hit with this issue. So it's something that we're not going to ever um, stop. Uh, there's always going to be people who are ignorant. And when I say ignorant, that means you don't understand. They don't understand what the person is talking about or they don't understand the person they don't understand their faith or belief and they just leave a comment like a drive-by and just label you like somebody just labeling me a date setter and they don't understand that i am absolutely against date setters i even openly rebuked um that one guy uh, 222 Steve Fletcher. I actually did a video, and I, this is not an exposed channel, but I went up and said that he is not following the Word of God, and he is actually hurting more people than he's helping. But this isn't about that. This is about um, all of us who truly believe in Jesus Christ, who believe in his return we must come together and agree on the points that we agree about and that is he is coming back that we are in the end times and that we are commanded to watch and i'm going to read you now revelation 3 3 remember therefore how thou hast received and heard and hold fast and repent if therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come unto thee as a thief, and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. Romans 10.13 is something I put on the end of all of my videos, or try to on, on all of my videos. It is a call for all of the unbelievers that whomsoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. But if you continue on, it says, Then... How then shall they call upon him who in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him who they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. We are here to share with you guys the good news of salvation. That is what I'm here to do as a watchman. I'm here to preach the good news to people who have not heard the good news before, who are hearing about these Bible events that are coming true, and so they go to YouTube and they search out and they want to know. I want to teach the gospel the way that the Bible has taught it, not by how man has taught it, okay? And none of us, not one single one of us, can claim to fully and completely understand every single jot and tittle of the Bible. We can't. We can't. I don't even believe that uh, there's going to be full understanding uh, until we're gone because of the, the blindness that is imparted onto the Jews. Okay, when that blindness is lifted and they're finally able to see, eh, we're not going to know everything until we're all together in the thousand years. And even then we may not know everything because why is Satan being released at the end for one final shot? You know what I mean? I don't get it all. Nobody can. And nobody, if anybody says they understand, they're a liar. Okay? And I'm not going to sit here and say I know everything, but what I am going to say is I love God. And I'm here to do what I can. And I'm here to, to sound the alarm and to try my best. And I'm not the best. I know that. And I 
and I have times when I'm weak and I share with you guys my weaknesses and I share with you guys my strength. I'm an open book and I'm trying to do all I can and I have a lot of personal stuff going on that I go through and and I share that with you guys because we're brothers and sisters and we're here to help one another and we're here to encourage one another as we see that day approaching. So for all of you guys who are coming on here and doing the drive-by and not listening to the videos, you know, well, obviously you're not listening, so I can't address you guys. But to all of you guys who do listen, who are listening right now, who've gotten this far, you know, the the 10% and who are lucky enough to even get a notification that my video is being posted and you're listening right now. You truly love God. You truly love your brothers and sisters. You truly have the Holy Spirit inside of you. That is because you care to listen to this point. I know that. So we got to pray for these people who may not even be saved because of the way that they're acting, this fruit. You know, a, a good tree cannot yield bad fruit. So we got to pray for these people who who are are really uh, are beating the servants and and are are who need prayer. So let's come together as brothers and sisters, as a community, and pray for one another and pray for the watchmen. All in watch women. When I say watchmen, it's it's for all of you strong women out there. Paul says there is no uh, male or female now in in God's kingdom. We can all pray for one another. You know, I know there's there's stuff about women teaching, but I mean, I have heard like Victoria Faithful is someone I listen to regularly. I love this woman. She is filled with the Holy Ghost, and she shares some of the most um, Holy Spirit-filled things, and and I love listening to Victoria. So I'm not saying don't listen to sisters in Christ who are sharing their stories and the Word of God um, and encouraging other people. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying... Um, we got to pray for these people who are coming against the watchmen. We have to pray for the saints, for strength. Um, and, and we got to come together uh, for all of the people. You know, we got to pray for them specifically. We got to come into agreement in Jesus' name to pray for those who are attacking watchmen. For, for their eyes to be open and for them to understand what the watchmen are doing. And let's pray for their coming to the Lord. And let's pray for the ones who even are saved that are attacking fellow brothers and sisters. That the Lord would give them a heart of flesh and help them to see the word and uh, the truth and uh, to, to bear fruit because we're coming down to it and there's a lot of people attacking other people, a lot of Christians attacking Christians and it, it looks so, so bad to, um, you know, these people who are going to go into the tribulation unprepared and um, it's, it's just going to be a real horrible time for these people and it's God's heart that all be saved and we know that that's not going to happen so we got to pray and pray and pray and pray so thank you for listening to this all the way through I appreciate you guys so so much and you know I I'm going to do my best to bring you more videos and I just, uh, even if they're short, small videos, um, I know that I have to 
do more and uh <sighs> I just have so much that is going on and it's tough. But I know you guys understand because you're going through the same thing and and we're all equal and so I'm not going to uh, whine about it because we're all going through the refiner's fire and soon this will be over and we are going to be eternally with the Lord and how glorious is that going to be. So thank you guys for listening to this. I hope you have a wonderful day. And if I don't see in the clouds tonight, I'll have another message for you very soon. Peace be with you.